Hey guys, just got back. I'm about to upload the video as I speak. Uh, I will put Chris's and Mike's information in the uh, information below. They're the brokers that are selling the boat. I'm also going to put the information for the uh, mechanics that have been working on the boat. Uh, Tim Marshall and Mary Garner. Um, they've got all the information on far as the uh, what's wrong exactly with the sail drives. It looks like the it's going to have to be completely replaced. It's not going to be just a cone clutch. There's also some issues with like a lot of small things. Um, the wrap on the port side is has been rubbed like it's been sitting against the dock for a while. So there's going to have to be some repairs on that side, just like surface repairs, and that wrap's going to have to be replaced. Trying to think of anything else. I don't know. Most of it's in the video. So um, just watch the video. I'll link everybody's information below. So just go ahead and check it out. So uh, let me turn this on just so we can kind of go over a little bit. You said it's locked up right now. Uh, Angie won't even turn over because of the, the sail drives locked up. Right. Try to have a guy turn the propeller down underneath. That's locked up. So it's definitely, you think it's more than the, uh, the cone clutch? I think okay. it's more than the cone clutch, yes. Okay. Uh, that's just like stuff like that. That's what the, the guys in yeah. Texas want to know. And then, I think the engine is going to be fine. The engine has a small oil leak, but it can probably be fixed. Yeah. And the engine, you know, the engine, he said the engine ran fine, perfectly fine. Can we just, take a look at it? Sure. Let's yeah. it up. Look at it. So, um, Tim, this is your world of fixing stuff like this. What's it going to cost to make it work? Ish. Um, Ish. Engine drive. You're going to want to. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the oil's that way, so I'm gonna swap, swap some people. Forty around forty grand. Yep. Forty. Okay. Close to. It's, 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 everything goes well. We don't find any any other major issues. So the oil leak is on the right side here. You said. I, I actually don't know. I think the oil leak is potentially the rear main seal. Oh, okay. Which is flinging onto the flywheel, which is flicking it all. Which is, yeah, side. going everywhere. Yes. Which makes it really easy to find out like where everything is, right? Like where, where the leak is. Everything's covered in oil. All right. And uh, the drive back there is just completely seized up. Just before it. Yeah. Too bad it wouldn't be the cone clutch because you could do that pretty cheap oh, yeah. yourself. And we've actually done the cone clutches several times. Yeah. In the boat, right there. Put it out, put a new yep. one in, adjust it, away we go. We just did one on a 42 here in St. Pete. Yep. Put a cone clutch in, the guy engined all the way to the Bahamas and back. Put without even opening the, the, the transmission one time. So okay. the cone clutch fixed the problem. But on this one, I'm certain it's past the cone clutch. Okay. All right. Uh that was the hope. Yeah. Yeah, we were hoping it was a cone clutch. In, in the water fix. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look there. I mean, if the oil was clean, there wasn't water down in there, I would attempt pulling the, the cap off and changing the cone clutch. Yeah. But it, it's, I think it's a waste of money. Yeah. So it costs three grand for that and potentially not fix the problem, or most likely not fix the problem. Yeah. What's the, uh, I think you probably need to do when you can't do just a rebuild on if you pull that sail drive off of there. Yeah, we can just do a complete rebuild on we, it. We can, but guys don't like to rebuild those when salt water's gotten in them. Yeah, that makes sense. Because of, of the uh, pitting yeah. price and stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. But uh, they're available. We actually found one. Oh, I mean, did you? They, we found an S60 drive okay. online rebuilt in, was it in Texas? Chris, Chris, Chris Texas. sent it to me. Yes, Maybe in uh, Texas. Chris has it. I haven't yeah. seen it yet. And then uh, you, I guess you just want to tell me a little bit more about the rest of the boat. I you see know, you've got solar on here. So we uh, don't know that much about it because oh. we just got it. Okay. Um, so we, we, all we know is that engine and drive need to be fixed on this side. Port yeah. side has been replaced with an S S60 and upgraded engine. Okay. Steering works, got some electronics at work. Sails are supposedly in the, 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 the owner the, told us. The main us, sail needs serviced. Serviced. Okay. New sail bag. But, it, the but, but they work. They can yeah. be pulled up and it can be sailed. Okay. And you got one motor at least right now. One so motor, if you yeah. needed to, but because uh, these guys would have to get it back to Kima. Right. He said something about having inverters on the boat enough to run air conditioners without running the generator. That's yeah. why they never really use the generator. Yeah. They'd use it occasionally to charge the batteries up. Uh, well, I looked when, online, I think Chris said this, is, or these are each like 300 watt panels yes. or 300 something watt panels. So it's got a ton of solar on it. A ton of solar. Which is good. I mean, that's, we had to run the generator quite a bit on the way back because uh, Dean doesn't have any solar on his yet. Oh, okay. Uh, so like we want the, at night, he'd run it the whole time right. or uh, when, 
he's he got the pulled the stove out and he put an electric cooktop on it. Same so on he's got to run it for this one too. So he did the, they did the induction on this one too. Took the okay. stove out too. All right. Don't know anything about the dinghy. Yeah, looks like the engine is a little bit kind of newer, a little four stroke. A little four stroke, yeah. 20 horsepower. Yeah, fuel injection, which is great with no carburetor, it could go bad. Yeah. Oh, this is just as big as the 450. Uh, yeah. But he sent it to me. Yeah, he actually sent it to me. Here are these. Got one, it's like electric winch here. And then, what is this, right? Harkin 53. Two speed, Harkin 46 two speed. That yeah, may not have any juice. Spin smooth. Nice hard top too. See up through the sails. Another hard 53 here. David, the um the generator fired up, but it, it took a second and the uh the port engine fired up. Okay. Open up the port side here and take a look. sitting a little lower than always the 440 just sit lower like that I took a peek and I got yeah. pictures of the, uh, the plates mm -hmm. so you're down there yeah if you want to yeah Right, these right here. What is this right here? Oh, no, that's not okay. Let me see if that's no, nope, this is uh, looks like water and something else. Go! Yeah, anybody know where the plugs are on the 440? Oh, yeah, I didn't look on that side either. You called it, so you get to right at it. Jeez, you can try. <laughs> it looks really doesn't look corroded. very, very, very uh, safe. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's pretty corroded. I wouldn't try that right now. Yeah, that corroded. It's pretty corroded. Damn. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Jeff. Yeah. Trampoline seems to be in good shape. Anchor's a bit rusty. Let's take a look here. And this trampoline also looks like it's in good shape. 
still full of stuff here. Radar's on. Well, or it's got power to it. At least. We will see. There's light. There's lights. Again, 2007 Lagoon 440. That's the BNG actually working. And see what we can do. Chip. This should be this should be showing. So, Tim, do you know how? I'm trying to have this transmit to see yeah. if that that dome is spinning. It looks like it looks like something's working. Oh, it's working now. We're just we're just in the wrong. Zoomed out. Uh, let's go to position. Nope. Nope. Had it a second ago. Changed. Try to get to like people on the phone. Coastal possibly. or nope. Radar. Let's try this. There we go. Okay. Let's try. Let's try weather. Weather will show up. Yeah, it's working. Wait. What was that? Is it that guy in that truck again that plays that loud music? All the speakers on the try back? offshore. What? That loud music. Yeah, yeah. The dude of the truck. Yeah. Is it like a uh, big golf cart that drops people off, and picks them up? Yeah. So this appears to be working. I don't know where the range on the. Let's. Do you know what uh, radar he's got up there by chance? B&G. I mean, like the, I don't know which model it is. What, Navigotics? Uh, I don't know what the range is on it. That's what I was trying to look. But it looks like it's working, though. It is It is working. Yeah. You can see the weather over yep. there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Speaking Good. Of, does the water pilot seem to be coming on? It seems it like is. the wind direction is working, too. It is. Yeah. Uh, that's cool, man. That's I haven't looked up. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> works, too, I think. Yeah, winches, I, I spun all of them. They all spin free and clear. So, I guess uh, next, go take a look inside. Yeah. This is a 2007, right? Yes. Okay. You guys seen this before? Yes, I have. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's cool. Compared to the ones I've seen, it actually sticks. Like, they, they put in there like kitchens and stuff like yeah. that and back house, like keep from slipping. And it's for, for lots of water to come coming in and you can yeah. still walk and drive. Yeah. yeah. And the animals probably do sliding yeah. around. Yeah. Oh, I don't hate the animals. Right. Normally I hate this stuff. But... Yeah, so oh, that's, that's where I opened up the village. Oh, okay. There's a little bit of water. No oven. It's got a cooktop in here. No. Oh, I guess that's a, just a... Yeah. 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 Station. Some water down there. Toilet, a wet head. Let's go front first. Access to the bathroom from the room. Decent sized bed. Access to stowage.
decent size hanging locker. Looks like there's plugs here. That might be air conditioning. So it's right here. Bathroom. This thing needs to be cleaned up. It's got a bunch of the oxidation on everything that's metal. This is the, uh, let's see, starboard side aft cabin. Yeah, lots of looks like a uh, tankage underneath here bed nice big cushions that's nice air conditioning again hatch put drawers underneath batteries controls Probably. Opens. Oh, no, 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 See also that water dripping a little bit here and that's all corroded or oxidized. Same thing on the sinks, you probably want to replace those. Let's see if the uh that works. Alright. No power right now. Okay. Hatch here, AC controls, hanging locker. Here. And looks like all your battery chargers and converters are right there. Or inverters, I should say. And again, nice thick mattress cushions. And a headboard back there, too. This is the starboard. Uh, starboard, I'm sorry, port aft side cabin. Let's go up to the front. All right, front bathroom. Another wet head. AC vent. Looks like your switch is busted here. That works. That's another holding tank. And port. And that works. All right. To the Ford cabin. 
uh, spare filters, access through cabin, that's nice. Port above, port light. Uh, it comes with two water maker, or this is a water maker here. Uh, rain maker, I'm not sure what, how much, let's see here. Let's see. Nice cabin, nice thick cushions all around all the cabins, nice. And there's AC, I think there's controls in every cabin. I don't know if they all work though. So. Lots of storage on this boat. Sinks. I'd probably rip those out and put a large single sink in there, deep sink. Good view. All the way around. I don't know. It's a fixer upper, but it looks like it could be a good investment for the right person or people. Because we had to, we had to be there at a certain time in order to get the dock space. Okay. So we. There's a water there for you. Thank you. Uh, let's see here. If there's anything else. Uh, yeah, it's handy. I like it. It spreads out. Very cool. Yeah. Do we know if the windlass, if that works? And windlass works. Windlass works. What size are What anchor do you know? It's like what anchor it has on there? Or what size? Uh, did, did you see it? Did you look at it? Mm -hmm. I have looked at it. Could be a bunch of blocks. I didn't. It doesn't do that. It's up and down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 You need a big one for a uh, boat like this. That's massive though. It's big, yeah. Yeah, it's big. Either 55 or 65 kilogram. Yeah, probably should have had no, no problem holding at least, no. depending on ah, windless works. You got windless controls up there too? Yes. Let me see if I can pull it back with this, okay. just to see if make sure confirm this works. There we go. Yeah, when this works, chain's a bit rusty. Probably need to be uh, recoded or replaced. He said he replaced this too not too long ago. The trampoline. Yeah, they look like they're in really good shape. Yeah, trampoline's in great shape. Yeah. So. Cleats be like they're in good condition. Hatch probably going to need to be replaced. And it's got a wrap on it, which honestly is in pretty bad shape. So that wrap will need to be redone or be repainted or refinished. Yeah. 
Be you can go it's downtown and see Pete. A little bit of rust. I don't see any wires. Under that bridge, the ICW. And then that little bridge behind us Cleats are in good shape. Stanchions appear to be in good shape too. I don't see any, haven't found one that's loose yet. Not too bad though. Clean that up. Chain plates. It's in a little rough shape that probably needs to be refinished. All right, guys. I think that's about all I can show you. Um, if you're interested, I guess, just reach out to Mike or Chris and uh, they can get you the details, any other information you need for this. So hopefully somebody, I mean, I'd like to pick this up but I'm gonna have to have, I'd have to have a partner to afford this. Thanks for watching guys.